Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is covering wrestling tryouts live on Bayside Radio. Except he wasn't on the air because he doesn't know his gear. Naturally, he assaults his producer. Christy asks for directions to tryouts. <laughs> But you're a girl. Nothing gets past Detective Shithead. Despite Zack's belittling, Christy lines up, only to get mocked by Coach. Zack steps in to be her hero. He brings her to the radio station and says the school can't get away with the exact thing he was just doing. Zack tells Christy he's got it handled by making Jesse handle it. She takes to the air, exposing Bayside sexual discrimination and launches a full protest. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'll think of something interesting. That something rhymes with handjob. But Zach's not just here to get cranked off. This was a shameless ratings grab to liven up his dull program by whipping students into a class-missing frenzy. Coach gives Christy a shot. What do you weigh, honey? Uh, 110 pounds. Folks, we have just witnessed history. This is the first girl Bayside to admit her weight. Profound coverage of this historic moment. Christy nails it and joins the team just in time for the meet against Valley. She thanks Zach, who was laughing in her face just moments ago. Zach takes credit for her talent and Jesse's community activism. I wouldn't be on the team without you. Well, thanks. Then leaves to do his show. A show broadcast live from the girls' locker room to interview Christy and glimpse some toweled nipples. She says leave, but this segment is too urgent. What kind of guy does Christy Barnes like? Perhaps Perhaps the kind of guy who would sneak into a girl's locker room? Every girl's dream. Zach wants to continue this interview in the shower and destroy school property. Then, like any professional interviewer, asks her on a date. She says yes to get him out of there. Belding heard the interview and enters to eject Zach. But by closing his eyes to respect the students, winds up terrifying one as Zach escapes. Zach offers Christy his signature post-date flattery. Wasn't Michelle Pfeiffer beautiful? Oh, well, compared to you, she was a bow wow. You look so great tonight. So much like a... Like girl. A valley wrestler interrupts. Zack tells him he doesn't want trouble, then insults him and escalates things physically, putting Christy in the awkward position to save his flailing ass. Zack does not say thanks and is visibly upset. Zack cancels his next plans with Christy to study. An obvious lie. She tries to reschedule and he dumps her with no explanation. She sees right through his nonsense. Thanks to Zack, she's quitting wrestling. But while Zack just wants to sit around moping, Jesse says they need to talk sense into her. Zack insists that's a man's job. He he invades the girls' locker room for the second time this week and admits he was embarrassed Christy wouldn't let him get his shit slapped around with a tray of cheeseburgers. Zack tells her not to quit just because he's an insecure moron. He begs forgiveness. For some reason, she grants it. Christy's in the final match, and although she proved to Zack she can handle herself, he loudly interjects to use that hold from the max. Thinks she knows about it, Zack. She taught it to you. Zack lays claim to Christy and announces she's his new bodyguard and girlfriend, and we never see her again. She probably fucking killed herself. Let's review. Zach Morris laughed at Christy wrestling, then stepped in to be her hero just to make women do all the heroics, to get content for his high school radio show that he felt gave him access to the girls' locker room. When Christy gave in to his pressures for a date, he ran his mouth into a whooping, then couldn't even say thanks when she was a real hero, then dumped her for rescuing him, and learned nothing, because he still believed she needed him to save the day when he couldn't even save himself. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is is trash.